Valve games. Valve has been ruling the video game market since 1996 with Half-Life, a game that during the time was praised for its revolutionary transition to a modern FPS game. It's also one of the first games to adopt the WASD control scheme. Half-Life with many of its other IPs, Team Fortress 2, Left 4 Dead 2, and Portal 2. Also, yeah. yes, if you've noticed, all of these games feature our favorite number 2, because Valve can't count the 3. All three of these games I've mentioned are more than 10 years old. That's old. So, you'd question how they've held up all these years, and are they still being played and talked about? Team Fortress 2. I've said a lot about TF2, still one of the best hero shooters to come out. I can't think of another game that captures the same feeling as TF2, even such games as Overwatch, which many still consider a competitor to TF2, still fall flat in fun value. So why is TF2 still being played? It's really hard to narrow that down, and it's a whole entire subject itself, and many believe because of how versatile it is. Not having one direct way to play the game, one way or two ways, but having multiple. You can play casually and only use a melee and charge at enemies with a frying pan or go on a 10 kill streak with a solo with the French guy with a knife. TF2 has this incredible charm that separates it from other games and has kept that reputation now for 16 years. TF2 is also one of the only games I've seen that could do a PvE right. Overwatch tried to do MVM, but uh, they ended up cancelling it and well, uh, I think the reviews speak for themselves. Oh man, there's one good review I've seen. This is bad game good. The rest are, I mean, this is just telling you to buy Deep Block Galactic. Anyways, the negatives here outweigh the positives. 52,000 reviews. $15? Man. Oh, they stupid low. Portal 2 is a credible game because of its creative puzzle mechanics and of course memorable characters because every Valve game has memorable characters. Although GLaDOS is a bitch, Portal challenges your problem solving skills and keeps you interested with its witty and engaged humor. The story is pretty good too. The game is fun and challenging and I got way too stuck on some puzzles. Portal is an interesting game and the story is top tier. You should try it. Left 4 Dead 2 achieved its huge success off its straightforwardness and cooperative design. The 4 player campaigns really make what the game is. The game features many game modes and iconic campaigns for not only the first game but has a lot of replayability and even features a versus mode which you get to slaughter your friends. I think a huge reason Left 4 Dead 2 is still fun as it is is because of how memorable the characters and the game design is. The campaigns are very well put together and don't feel rushed or unbalanced although the versus mode can sometimes feel favored. They even brought in former Walking Dead actor Chad L. Coleman to voice the Big Burger Man himself. The voice acting in this game is spot on. Each character has so much personality, and even the zombies themselves are very well made. And honestly, the hunter is terrifying. A lot of games wish they could incorporate a teamwork aspect to this type of game, but fell, and Left 4 Dead 2 did a really good job, especially on harder levels. The hunter will absolutely destroy you if you stray off, and the less and less people alive, the harder it gets to win, so building each other up is rewarded, and I think it's a good game design, especially for a game meant for teamwork and survival. Uh, 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 uh,